telling you that the only stench hardier than your rotting burrick of a master is the liquor on his fetid breath. If he comes near Lady Van Vernon again, we'll boil his knickers. Oh, ho! Mighty fine words coming from a knock-kneed, inbred page boy such as yourself. Our good master Willie really wouldn't be caught near that frumpy little trollop unless he were holding her back at the end of a halberd. <gasps> How dare you defile the name of someone so good and virtuous as the Lady Van Vernon? Our lady is a saint among mortal women. An angel so pure the heavens couldn't hold her. <laughs> ah, your lady, an angel? You're lucky the dockside whore keeps aren't bashing down her door for stealing their clientele. Why, just last night, I saw her out back warming up the stable boy. Such slander will not be tolerated while we're on watch. You'd best run and rescue your helpless limp lord before he founders in his own vomit or wakes up naked in a hen coop. Scurry off, or you'll require some unnecessary ventilation. Is that a threat, you shriveled old maid? You go to prick us with your sewing needles? On this side of the street, we shoot like soldiers, so don't make promises your arrows can't keep. You go! You go too far this time, you camel-mannered tunic-wearing mollycoddle! An arrow in the throat of the shut you up! <laughs> 